the first thing we want to do is we all want to just nail and absolutely understand what happens in the first hour. If we get the first hour wrong, then the whole thing's definitely wrong. So, you know, to figure out the first hour, there's kind of two ways of doing it. And I kind of like you to do both ways, just so you understand. So the first way is just go ahead and get 10% of 230 and then subtract that from 230. So take your time and do that. So in other words, we're going to get take 230 and then we're going to subtract you know, or, or sorry subtract 10 percent of that right so just go ahead and do that and i think that most people mostly uh, you know should think okay that makes sense right so take your time and let me know when you got that figured out so that's 230 minus So what do we get for 10% of 230? Okay, so 10% as a decimal is what? 0 0.10. Of means multiply. Multiply it by 230, and that gives us what? Lovely. So so we started with 20, 230 pounds of pollutant. Let's call it oil. Like I don't know what this is, but let's say it's a bunch of oil in in um in like a pond or something or i don't know it could be could be anything but let's say it's 230 pounds of oil that was dumped in a pond right okay or some type of water source right so so we've so we start with 230 pounds of the this dirty oil and then we we subtract 23 pounds of it and so what do we have left okay so does that make sense that you would have 207 pounds of the of the of the oil or the dirt left after of the pollutant left after one hour? Does that make sense? Now, the, this is this is cool. This is fine, and I'm glad we, we we're all agreement that that should be the answer after the first hour. The problem is, how do you figure this out for like 10 hours or 20 hours or 35 hours? It's it's it, it's it's a complicated process because you got to get 10% of the previous amount, right? So. So what I want you all to do, that's this is kind of like one way, but there's another way where I want you to figure this out with just one operation. There, there's a way of doing 230 times something to get 207, and I want you to figure out what that something is. And anyone watching from home, press pause on the video and just figure out a clever way where you can just take 230 and multiply it by something to get 207. If you can figure that out, then that really helps um figure out the whole problem right um so see if you can think right exact right good guess good guess good good so so what we need to think about is like the whole amount is um the whole amount is a hundred percent and if we clean out ten percent you know, 100% minus 10% is what? 90%. So, so you know, getting 90% of something is actually the same thing as subtracting 10% of that thing. So we can go 90% um, of 230. And that'll actually give you the same thing. And that's just 90% is 0 0.9 or 0 0.90, whichever you prefer times 230 and plug that in the calculator everybody and we find that that is is that going to give you the same thing 207 yep yeah so plug that in the calculator just to check see if that works good deal so we plug that in the calculator and that is indeed 207 so getting the concept is like Subtracting 10% of something is the same thing as getting 90% of that thing. So if you, so that the magic number was 0 0.9 or 0 0.90. If I multiply by 0 0.9, that gets me the next, what we have left after one hour. And that is so key because using this trick, now we can make a, um, now we can make a little formula. And by the way, if, 
it was that you're taking away this this whole friend thing. So if you're taking away like thirteen percent each hour, that means sub so subtracting thirteen percent is the same thing as getting what? Eighty seven percent of that thing. Subtracting five percent of something is the same thing as getting what of that thing? Ninety five percent. Yeah. So you think of it like a hundred percent, the whole thing minus thirteen percent is equal to that. It's like the whole thing minus five. So what if we had a cleaning process that removed uh twenty three percent each hour? Then that would be each hour we get what percent? Beautiful, 77%. Exactly. So that's the trick. That's the trick. So once we have that trick, what we're going to do is make ourselves a nice little table. And we're going to go um, hours and amount remaining. All right. So initially zero hours i start with 230 pounds so this is in lbs which is pounds which is such a crazy uh letters for pounds it doesn't sound like it all anyway when i was growing up in ireland there was a neighbor that used to call them elves elves i'm making anyway all right so 230 right so we can go 230 times 0.9 to get 207 remaining after one hour. Now after two hours, um, and again, the reason I'm using the 0.9 is because trust me, you'll find this cool formula. You can take the 207 and subtract 10% of it or get 90% of it, same thing. And what do we get? All right, so, so now we have our formula. How much is remaining after five hours and then 10 hours? Take your time. And this is the amount remaining after five hours. Right. So how many pounds of contaminant are left in the, the tank after five hours and then after 10 hours so for five hours we get 230 times 0 0.9 to the power of 5. Wait, go. Oh. And for 10 hours, 230 times 0 0.9 to the power of 10. Perfect. Alrighty, so, sorry. So, um, and then the calculator, of course, that's just same as this, you know, 230 star 0 0.9 to the power of 5. And this is 230 star 0 0.9 to the power of 10. And let me get those real quick. And so I'm going to use my arrows on the calculator. I'll go up, enter on that. Go use the arrow, go over, hit 5, press enter. And we got to round to the near and we got to round to the nearest 2. So this one is 135.81, right? And then this one is 80 point, yeah. So rounding up to the nearest two, we got 80.20 or 80.2. One, either one will work. Perfect, pounds, good. So um, another question I see on there is, um, Uh, how much contaminant is removed during the first three hours? Okay. So we got how much removed
Now, see if we can figure that one out. How many, how much contaminant removed during the first three hours? I think you're right. How did you get that? Good job. Yeah. So at the end of three hours, there's this amount left, the 167 number, right? Now we started with 230. So that's why we just subtract that number. Because that's the dirt that's left in the tank. And so how much was removed? Well, what did we start with? And so that's how that works, right? So you just go 230 minus 167.67, and we get 62.33, okay, good, 0.33 pounds, right? So that's that one. Ah, next one. Next question I see is, how much is removed from the 10th to the 13th hour? Ha, huh, that's interesting, right? How much is removed from the 10th to the 13th hour? One thing I want you all to do for that is, um, if you could all, figure out, we just figured out for 10 hours, but I want you to figure out what's remaining after 13 hours. And you might have guessed that you, you're going to have to figure that out for sure. So, so for hours being 13, please figure out what's remaining, right? Oh, move these guys up here. There we go. So we did figure out what was remaining after 10 hours. Let's figure out what's remaining after 13 hours. And then let's think about how we're going to answer this question. Good. So again, it's just 230 times 0 0.9 to the power of 13 should give us what's remaining. This is always the amount remaining, right? Because we're getting 90% of 90% of 90% of 90% and so on. So uh, 230 times 0 0.9 to the power of 13 gives uh, 58. Point uh, four six. I'll just round it to two decimal places. So after thirteen hours, we've got this amount remaining, right? And so then, so we had around eighty pounds remaining after ten hours, and we got fifty-eight remaining after thirteen hours. So this is the amount of so you know. <clears throat> Let's get that out of there because I want to draw my little diagram. So, so it's this amount of, of dirt remaining after 10 hours, and this is what's remaining after 13. It's less of it. So the question is, how much is removed from this hour to this hour, right? And so I think you just subtracted, right? Just subtracted, yeah. So this is what was remaining after 10 hours. This is remaining after 13. If we subtract them, now we should get what was removed in between those times. So 80.2 minus 58.46, 21.74. 21 21.74 pounds is removed from the 10th to the 13th hour. Good. And I think that's, I think we're done with it. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Great stuff. Well done.